an opera fan sort of by um, default. My parents, um, when I was growing up in a small town in New Jersey, they would play opera records on a daily basis. So there were always, um, you know, foreign languages in my house, which probably influenced my choice of study in college. I majored in French and German. Um, and before I became a writer, I taught French and German. So I guess I wasn't afraid of languages then. Um, I'm not sure I always knew what was going on in the story, with the exception of, of one story that I was really interested in through the music. You could just feel the passion in the music, and that was Carmen. So I remember asking my father, what is, what is this about? This music is so wild and um, just really compelling, and it was sung in French. I thought it was beautiful, so I fell in love with the language before I knew uh, what all the words meant. Um, but then he told me it was about this, um, this woman who was uh, a gypsy and a, and a smuggler, um, and she sort of ran her own show. And to me, uh, growing up as a young woman in the 60s, that was sort of, she was sort of an early feminist. You know, she was, um, she was in charge of this group of men. So I think as a young girl, the story of Carmen was compelling to me. Uh, and then the, the whole setting of that with the band of smugglers and the very righteous soldier, it was sort of a Romeo and Juliet story. So later on, when I came to it as a, as a young adult novelist, um, I wanted to retell that in a setting that was familiar to me. So I set it at the Valley Forge Military Academy rather than in the Basque region uh, of, of uh, France and Spain. And um, so that w it was a lot of fun to retell that, which is something I encourage kids to do, is to find an old story and retell it in a modern way or in a different setting. Um, as far as my favorite operas, Carmen has to be my absolute favorite. Um, I also like The Barber of Seville, which is a funny uh, sort of miscommunication, uh, wonderful music. Uh, and then I like Aida also. It's a beautiful opera, beautiful um, music. I think teens enjoy the inherent drama in opera. Uh, there's a lot of pageantry. There's a lot of exaggeration. Um, and I think that fits the teen uh, age spectrum very, very well. I mean, things are intense um, when you're a teenager, and opera is a very intense form.